And now, your Billy Wood Honda forecast first. Well, the widespread rain has exited, but the clouds and the light rain and drizzle have lingered through much of this Monday. Also, what you'll see from this sprawling area, uh, upper level disturbance moving off to the east, off to the north and west. Some of this is not moving. That's actually snowfall that's left behind uh, from this storm system as it brought the rain and the storms over the weekend. We'll look for the clouds to continue to move out tonight as lows fall to near the freezing mark. Low 30s generally across southern Arkansas. Daytime highs tomorrow in the mid to upper 50s under sunny skies. That's your forecast first. First at four starts now. Live from the NBC 10 Broadcast Center, this is your Arklamis News Source. Voted Best Newscast and Best Weather. This is NBC 10 News, first at four. And thank you so much for joining us for your first at four. I'm Cindy Langston with your South Arkansas News. Our top story at this hour this weekend in Camden, the Chamber of Commerce, along with local businesses, held headshots and handshakes. Residents had the chance to have professional headshots taken by local photographers. This was also a great networking opportunity. Local hairstylists and even makeup artists showed up to help everyone put their best face forward. And South Central Service Cooperative hosted the first of seven Girl Power to the Max Next Level Manufacturing Contests recently. The series of contests encourage, encourages high school girls to explore and perfect skills in high need, high wage, and high demand roles. Last Tuesday, 54 girls competed from Camden Fairview, El Dorado, Emerson, Hampton, Harmony Grove, Junction City, Parker's Chapel, Smackover, and even Taylor. Students competed using advanced computer numerical control technology equipment in the areas of wood cutting, metal cutting, and lasering. Lakin Osgood and J.C. Sanders from Hampton won the first place in metal cutting. In the lasering category, first place went to Brindley Porter from Parker's Chapel, and also from PC, Briley Carelock won second place in wood cutting. Well, Sunday wasn't just for the big ball game. In El Dorado, the crew of Mary Lou hosted the world's shortest Mardi Gras parade. The parade was held in honor of Michael Rice's late daughter. He began this as a way to honor his daughter Mary Lou's life, who passed away in 2016 due to a drug overdose. Faye Ray's had a barbecue lunch plate for sale today, at, or Sunday rather, and all the proceeds went to the Magdalene House, an organization that aids in the recovery and restoration of women who have lived in despair for too long. And a big congratulations to the El Dorado Varsity Cheer Competition Squad. They left last week for a trip to the UCA National Competition at Walt Disney World. They made it through to the final round over the weekend and then competed today for the championship. The team ended up fourth out of 25 teams in the entire country. We're really proud of those girls. Congratulations. And now it's time to take a look at everything happening in El Dorado this week. On Tuesday, head over to Coffee with Causes at the Chamber. This is a time for local nonprofit organizations to come together and network. Tomorrow's event starts at 9 o'clock at the Chamber of Commerce. Then on Thursday, the Barton Library will be talking all about the upcoming solar eclipse. It's happening April the 8th. You'll learn all about that eclipse and the best places to watch in Arkansas for complete totality. Those who attend will get a free pair of Eclipse sunglasses. That event starts at 11. And on Saturday, it's the Women Moving Forward Saturday Morning Walk. Women Moving Forward is a nonprofit empowering women to take control of their own lives. The walk begins at 8.30 in the morning at Miller Park Mall. For more information on any of the events, you can scan the QR code on your screen. And to add your event to the community calendar, visit GoElDorado.com. Well, South Arkansas and College, Community College, and Washington Middle School hosted industrial engineer and children's book author Melissa Edison today. She spoke to students on the importance of STEM skill sets. Our J.W. Meisenheimer tells us more from the Mahoney Family Library. Kansas City native Melissa Edison is on a mission to connect with the youth of today. Something that I didn't learn until well in my 30s is that certain skill sets pay different amount of money. And one thing that I've learned is you only have 40 hours, maybe 50 hours in a week, and what you do with it can really make an impact. Because STEM careers help improve communities. They help improve lives. They help improve the quality of life. And so once you understand deeper about what a STEM career is outside of the great money that you can make and the life that you can live, 
I actually just love helping people. And so working in STEM, whether you're an engineer or an architect or a mathematician in science, you're doing something that is bigger and larger and greater than yourself. And for me, that's utopia. Edison says that her passion for STEM extends beyond her career. She wants to pour knowledge into the next generation of young minds across her community and the world. What better way than me to share globally um, in a small, authentic setting, careers in STEM. I got to tell girls in a village in Nairobi, Kenya, the Maasai village, that girls can work. Girls can have their own money. They can have their own dreams. I'm hoping to connect with the students here to let them know community college is just the beginning. It can take you wherever you want to go. Basically, what you're saying is I am investing time in myself to say maybe I don't know exactly what I want to do next, but I know that this is definitely the right start. Reporting in El Dorado for your Arklamis News Source, I'm J.W. Meisenheimer. And continuing our Black History Month coverage today, the city of Stuttgart is celebrating black history at the second annual Celebrating Culture event. Several people in the community were honored with high achievement and community awards. There were performances by poets, singers, and even some line dancing. Attorney Feronda Braswell was named this year's Person of the Year. The event's founder says it's all about bringing the community together. It makes me feel like it's worth it. It makes it feel, to see the tears, they have me cry because they have made me know that they really appreciate this. I had one say they never received anything. Out of all the community service, out of everything, school teaching, never received anything. And so I knew it, it was God. The founder says next year's event will be even bigger and better than this one. Well, education matters, and according to a recent study from Wallet Hub, Arkansas is ranked the fourth least educated state in our country. Wallet Hub compared the 50 states and examined key factors like school quality, educational attainment, and achievement gaps between genders and races. Ranking below the natural state, Louisiana, Mississippi, and West Virginia. Massachusetts topped the list as the most educated state. For the full list of rankings, you can visit us at myarklamis.com. First and goal. Mahomes swings it. It's there! Hartman! Jackpot! Kansas City! Well, the Kansas City Chiefs are Super Bowl champs once again. They beat the 49ers in overtime last night with a three-yard pass from Mahomes to get the winning touchdown, pulling the Chiefs ahead 25-22. to Mahomes was named Super Bowl MVP again with 399 total yards and two touchdowns and the first repeat championship team in almost two decades. Just it's so exciting, man, man. I'm so proud of the team, so proud of the guys, and to battle to the very end. I mean, that's, that was the microcosm of our season. I said it, um, and everybody came together, and we were able to get the win. This was only the second Super Bowl to go into overtime ever, and again, the Chiefs are back-to-back -back champs since the Patriots did it about 20 years ago. Listen, like him or hate him, don't bet against Mahomes. Well, in consumer news today, we're looking at gas prices. According to AAA, Americans are paying an average of $3.20 for a gallon of gas. Here in Arkansas, that average is $2.81. Ashley County residents are looking at the lowest prices in the area. They're paying about $2.75 a gallon. Meanwhile, Calhoun County residents are paying the highest prices at the pump, about $3.10. Here in Union County, gas is going to run you about $3.06 a gallon. She's also going to throw this out there. That was the second straight Super Bowl victory for the Chiefs. Second straight purple Gatorade bath. Just throwing that out there. 42 in El Dorado. It's cloudy and gloomy and dreary, but sky should clear tonight. We'll look at the forecast coming up next.